Hey fam, welcome back. I'm really fantastic. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a full face using affordable slash drugstore product. Okay. If you're new to this video, please subscribe down below to turn on the notification as well. So that way, don't miss out a single video from me. Okay. Yeah, um, instead of babbling out too much, let's just jump straight into this video. All right. So I don't have a complete full face, but I do have a full face if you know what I mean. <laughs> like there's a couple of things I don't have. Like for example, bronzer. Actually, I think that's the main thing. Bronzer and primer. Oh, and also setting powder. If you see me skip something, it's because it's not new. I might, I might still mention it anyway. And speaking of which, um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime using the Rimmel Matte Primer. This is not necessarily new anymore, but I recently just acquired it, so I'm included into this video. And I'm also included because I just wanted to keep the items I'm using into this video to affordable slash drugstore kind of products. You know what I mean? I would say ignore the glitters all on my face, but now that I've called your attention to it, you probably can't ignore it. So um, the first product here is the L'Oreal Skinny Definer Brow Artist, and I picked up the shade Ebony. I believe this was a deeper shade in store. I think they might have had they might have black. I'm not really quite. I got this from Chemist Warehouse for those wondering and this is what it looks like. It's very skinny. That's literally in its name. And I just tried to peel it off its wrapping and it just would not peel off. So I'm just going to go ahead and, ooh, the spool is very skinny. Well, I didn't bring a mirror. I don't want to get up. It's time for some anger. Just go ahead and do this. Ooh, it's very sharp. Ooh. I've been looking for a new favorite drugstore affordable brow products. So this might be it. I love how that's stroking, like how it's just getting in there, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't set my brow hairs down first. When I tell you, I love that. <laughs> I love this. I love this brow product. Oh my gosh, I really like it. I mean, I'm still gonna have to go and touch up later on, but I always like to do my brow first, kind of like a pre-brow. And then like, I'd, you know, towards the end when I'm done with my foundation and whatnot, I would then go ahead and just kind of touch it up, you know? But yeah, I really like it. I like the precision of it. I like the size. I like how it just gets in there. I also like the spoolie. I don't always like tiny spoolies, but this spoolie has more, um, it has a bit of control. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. Do you know what I mean? So I really like that you know what let's go ahead and do eyeshadow so let me just go ahead and prep my lid so i'm just prepping my lid using the revolution concerning the five focus foundation in the shade f13.5 this is an eyeshadow palette from colourpop i actually picked these colors myself on on the website so basically they have a 12 set system and 24 set system i don't know like you pick your own eyeshadows and whatnot you know and so this is affordable colourpop, ColourPop is affordable i don't remember how much i got this but i did get one two three twelve one two three four a 12 pen system so i picked these shadows myself i wanted something that's a bit more on the pink pinkish orangey hue kind of side i do have a pop of blue and green here just because i kind of just feel like i need that and i also have two glitters so i have 10 matte shades and two glitters like pressed glitters when i say glitters they're glitters and that's why i had glitter on my face you know just then as well okay so this is what the palette itself looks like so you pick your shadow and then you pick the kind of palettes the z palettes or whatever you want to call it that you want the shadows to go in they came individually so i had to pop them out and pop them in this palette like they came in these kind of stuff you know and also this just in case you're wondering and if you're interested in getting something like this yes you know what so i'm gonna go ahead and do something pink with this hair yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it so let's go ahead and use this brown shade right here it has a bit of an orange undertone wow there's a lot of kickback with that isn't it probably because i'm picking up with a natural hair brush let me try with a synthetic brush yeah, there's kickback as well. You know, I, I don't mind kickback. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in my crease just to define my crease. And I'm using the M330 brush by Morphe. I'm gonna pick this orangey, peachy, orangey shade. It's actually more orange. I don't know why it's looking more peachy on camera but yeah and i'm just adding this to my crease as well i wish this palette had as a mirror <laughs> so that way i could use it you know i'm liking the shade honestly i mean this um shadow the quality is really nice all right so now we're gonna go into this deep pinky shade right here and i'm gonna go ahead and de start deepening my outer corner with this but also add a little bit of it in my crease let's change brush to the m321 kind of doing like a c shape in my crease and my outer corner i love this shade oh my god i mean the palette itself the 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 quality i'm picking up the green in the palette i know i know i just tested it here and it doesn't look like green green you know like it just 
when blending with the other shade it looks really nice this one right here i'm just picking this up with the tip of the m321 brush this is a crease blending brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and just use it to deepen the crease just here just to define this area right here just a little do you see that like it doesn't really look green green when mixed with this pinky mulberry shade I'm gonna go back into that other pink shade and just blend things nicely i'm just gonna go with the green and just feather it to where i'm literally gonna cut in a little in a little bit i love that oh my gosh okay so now that's done i'm trying to think if i need to cut my crease before this pressed glitter i don't think i need to because literally when you touch it so that there, there it is like it feels you can feel it as well it's like a loose glitter it's a bit chunky <laughs> but that's why i picked it as well okay you know what i'm not gonna cut my crease i'm just gonna go ahead and just I love this. Oh, it's chunky. I can, if it falls in my eye, I'm done. <laughs> Let's just tap it on the lid. Wow. Oh my gosh. Like, wow. I love this. Oh, I really wanted a glitter and I got it. All right. So now I'm going to pick the white. Oh, I love this. I'm going to pick the white one. Oh, I can still pick it with the brush. Nice. Like this is what you get when you pick it with a brush. I'm going to put the white towards the inner corner, making sure I don't get it in my eye. Wow. That has a bit of gold reflex in it as well. The pink glitter has gold reflex to it too. And also the, the white one too. Oh yes. Like if you see this in person, it's unreal. I want to line the crease with something like a white. <gasps> Okay, so here we go. I've got this Lash In Line um, Glitter Mascara and Eyeliner by W7. I've had this for a long time. Okay, so I think I'm not going to use this green green one now called Luganza. Organza. I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Supernova, which is the silver one. I'm just going to see if that's going to work on my, just in this area right here. Maybe a matte shade should have gone there. Okay, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? It's all right. We're okay with it. I'm okay with it aren't you if you're not okay with it just close your eyes it's fine <laughs> so far this shadow you know the shadows i picked from colourpop is a hit i love this yeah. okay so we'll go ahead and apply liner i've actually got two liners i have one from revolution it's called the liner revolution waterproof smudge proof intense black felt tip highlight oh felt tip eyeliner they say it's waterproof and then i've got one by l'oreal this is l'oreal flash cat eye by super liner Oh, interesting. So this one, this is what this one looks like. It comes with a two, like so. This is gonna be so hard to open again. Oh my gosh, L'Oreal. I love that. So I guess like you can use this as a guide. I, I don't really have time. <laughs> oh, you do it like this. You know what, let's try it. That's black. Oops, it's very wet. <laughs> I'm just lying a little. I don't wanna overshadow my glitter, you know? I mean, this is where I will now draw the wing, but let's see. I won't be using this honestly because I can't be bothered. <laughs> Well, I can't, I honestly can't, I don't know why I can't, I guess if you're a beginner liner or whatnot, it'll be good for you, but honestly, I just, I feel like it's just gonna waste my time, this is very, the tip of this is very soft, oh, looks like a brush, but I like it, yes, I really love that actually, let's try the revolution one on this side, this is revolution one, it's called the liner revolution, okay wow this tip is i love this tip yes wow this is not as wet hmm this this one's taking me a little bit longer <laughs> i guess brush tip kind of works better or faster you know hmm so this might be a no <laughs> wow that, this this one is a struggle it's all right but wow so i've been sleeping on brush tip applicators like brush tip liner i'm going with the l'oreal like you see how easy that one is gliding on like do you see that wow i think i just switched teams from felt to brush <laughs> i like the l'oreal one a lot better but i do like this one as well the revolution one it is black but the l'oreal one i feel like is more black you know so i like them both but i like the l'oreal flash cut eye better let's go ahead and apply mascara which is the maybelline the forces lash lift mascara so next we have lashes i have the rdl remy lashes i actually haven't tried any other lash from any other brand in a long time because i've mainly been using my lash from my brand but i've been wanting to try this particular style because i've been hearing people talk about it this is the rdl 776 remy lashes and back here it says it says um, made in china at the back it's very um fluffy wispy Ooh. It's very soft, isn't it? Very flimsy. It looks really long as well. Like I have, I'm going to have to trim it down. 
Is this the right last for this look? Oh, it's okay. We'll coat it with mascara. Okay. Oh, wow. The glue on there is literally sticking to my eye already. Let's just see if we can just use the glue on there already. The glue that's already on there. I haven't applied glue. <laughs> This is literally the glue that came with the actual lash. Let's go ahead and coat it with like, mascara because I can't really see it. <laughs> it's, the tip is too um, light for this look. I need to be able to see it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation. Okay, so the foundation I'm applying is by Revolution. This is Revolution Concentrated Five Free Coverage Foundation. The foundation itself is not new till May, but the shade is. You guys know I've got, <laughs> I have five shades, okay, in this line because I love this foundation. Also, I, I really wanted to find a shade for me. If you have watch my previous videos on this foundation specifically i'm gonna put links down below i actually have two videos on the foundation kind of trying to like figure out the shade now that they've got 50 shades and they have 13.7 i decided to pick it up and just see if it's gonna match me better because the shade 13.5 is a little bit lighter than my skin tone you know and like if i were to like you can you can see, you can see it's not my shade so i usually just use this as a concealer right here if this doesn't match me then this is 13.5 then i'm just giving it up and just gonna keep continuing I'm just gonna keep doing what I usually do which is mix the shades. So this is 13.7. The, this looks better. This looks way better than 13.5. <laughs> okay. It looks way better but it's still not particularly my shade. It's workable but it's still not my, my shade. So I, I can't say confidently that I have a shade in this range despite the fact that they extended it to 50 shades you know but I have workable shades. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer. This is a new product. This is also by Revolution. This is Revolution Concealing Hydrate foundation no concealer <laughs> i picked up the shade 12.7 in the defined concealer, defined concealer i was using 13 and 13.5 i think my face is a bit itchy um i didn't pick that up i just wanted to try this the packaging is the same kind of the same as the concealer defined full coverage foundation and also as the concealer defined concealer as well which i really love but that one can be a little bit too matte and i love the doe for applicator as well oh this has this looks golden but also has a little bit of a pinkiness to it <sighs> 12.7 why didn't i just pick 13 hey eh? since i know 13.5 works well for me as a concealer not necessarily as a highlight oh yeah i wanted a highlight and um i don't know i just wanted to try 12.7 12 12 because i find the number interesting yeah this looks pink you can't see it but wow, i feel like my face has gone smaller <laughs> weight loss honestly <laughs> that's what it would do okay so that's a little bit brightening you know, this is a bit of a light. I know I said this a lot. Anyway, maybe I just have high expectation when it comes to coverage, but this is a bit of a light coverage concealer. I guess I can build it up like if I were to leave it under my eyes as we usually do. Let's just go ahead and just, you know, apply a little bit under here and just see what's going to happen if I were to leave it kind of sit there for a little bit. Let's just see. Try down a little bit quick, which is interesting. Okay, so the, you, the coverage is better when you leave it under, under your eyes. You can see a bit more of a f um, medium, not full, a medium coverage. coverage. What did they say oh they said medium slash full yes all right so here we go not bad not bad at all i'm gonna go ahead and set it with the color pop no filter setting powder this is in the shade of banana this is not new to me but yeah let's go ahead and set all right so here we go since i've got this in my hand i'm just gonna go ahead and use it to kind of bronze contour a little bronze just pick a little oh i forgot this doesn't have a mirror i'm just gonna start from the side of the bridge of my nose just a bit lightly blend it into my crease you see that like it looks like i've already contoured my nose you know i love that you start from here apply majority of it up here and then you go down yeah, I always flare my nose when I come down to the tip of my nose here. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush. And for blush, I have blush by Revolution. And it is adorable. It's called Blusher Reloaded. You see that shade? Oh, I love that shade. Oh, they call it baked peach. Just tapping it. Ooh, let's just tap it here. I love. I've been liking tapping my brush instead of doing like a swipe thing. I've been liking tapping products in in general. Do you see how pretty that looks? That is pretty. All right. I need highlighter. I didn't pick highlighter, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one right here. This is the from Patricia Bright X Revolution. Looks like we featured a few Revolution palettes um, product in this video. All right. So there we go. Let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the M213 brush by Morphe, not sponsored. And I'm gonna, we're gonna go back to uh, my new favorite palette combination. And I'm going to pick, hmm, we're going to, with dark pink, this one right here. I'm just picking up the orange in here. I'm just putting it in my inner corner. <laughs> I love that. 
Yes, this is the shade that I just picked up, this one right here. These mattes are so pigmented. So now I'm just gonna apply liner in the waterline. I'm using the Revolution one because this is a felt tip. And they said this one is waterproof, so please look at that. Let's see if I can use the L'Oreal one too. Ooh, yeah, this one doesn't work as well. It's too wet for the waterline. Meanwhile, the Revolution one is a, is a, is a felt tip. It's not as wet. And they said it's waterproof and smudge proof as well, so this one works better. You can remove this. This is the L'Oreal one. You can remove the thing, literally. That makes a lot more sense. Like, that is so much better. I didn't know, it just felt so bulky in my eye, you know what I mean? All right, before I fix my brow, let's go ahead and do lipstick. When I tell you I've been here trying to open this freaking lip liner, oh my gosh. Anyway, so I've got three lip products here, but I think I'm only gonna use them, definitely only gonna use two. So I have two lip liners, uh, which is two of the three that I was talking about. This is by Revolution. This is the Revolution Satin Kiss Lip Liner in the shade TGIF. I think I might end up using this shade, honestly, because it's a bit deeper, you know what I mean? And um, it will go well with this liner, um, with this eyeshadow. And I also have the Rimmel, the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Obsession. And this is what this looks like. And it looks a bit janky because I just peeled off the sticky bit. I did try when I got this. I actually tried it in a car because I was actually curious because I like the tip of it. And I, like applying it was so easy and it just fit really nicely in the groove of my lip, you know? But I'm not gonna go ahead and use that today. I also like as well, as well. It's, it also has a nice longevity too, in case you're interested in that. It was actually very affordable. I think it was like $4. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Revolution one instead because I like the shade of this. It will go well with this lip. I was gonna put it in my brow. All right, so yeah. It will also go well with the lip um, lipstick, whatever it is that I'm about to use. Ooh, that's gliding on so smoothly. I love that. <gasps> it just broke. A whole chunk of it just came off, just like that. I'm bringing back on there, I'm bringing back on there and hoping, um, like the whole lip just came off. Can you sharpen this one? Oh. I'm still trying to use it. I'm literally pressing it in there so it stays in there so I can at least do my lips with it. I do like the formula though, so it's a shame that this is breaking off. I love it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, just on my face. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lipstick and I've got the ColourPop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is its outer packaging. I picked up the shade Air Kiss. All right, and this is what the lipstick itself looks like. The applicator is nice though. And it smells really nice. Kinda smells a bit yummy. It feels like I'm applying a powder lip. Oh, it's velvet, yeah. Oh, I love this look. It's almost like I planned the lipstick in the eyeshadow. Almost. That is so smooth. It feels nice. It feels a bit weird on my lips, but it, even though it feels weird, it still feels nice. It feels comfortable, it feels lightweight. I like it. When I swatched it, I didn't really see its longevity, you know, so I'll update y'all. All right, so here we go. We're all done, okay? So, just a little recap. I did like all the products that I actually used today. I actually like them all. I mean, I like some more than others. There wasn't really any fail when it comes to the product itself. I mean, the main fail that I would say was a fail or whatever in this video is the Revolution Consumer 5 you know that one? <laughs> Every time I say the name, I always have to say it fast. It's the Revolution Cosmetic 5 for Curry Foundation. The shade particularly, I'm a bit disappointed with it because I thought I'd be able to find a shade for me in this range because I love that foundation so much. But aside from that, everything else I tried in today's video is really nice. The lipstick feels really nice on my lips. I really like it. I like the lip liner, both lip liners, even though I didn't use the Rimmel one in this video. I love them. In between these two liners, the Revolution and the L'Oreal one, I love the L'Oreal one more for wing i love the revolution one for my waterline like look at look at that look at that it's still in my waterline it hasn't disappeared and believe you me i've been here for a little bit okay before i came to do this outro so oh yeah the lashes i love the lashes as well the last i really i can't believe I'm, i can't believe I'm, i was able to use this lash with the glue that I actually that actually came with it that is awesome all the products today was really nice honestly this was a success even the concealer i do like the concealer the formula itself the shade not particularly you know but i was able to make it work you know so when we focus on formula the products I tried today. I love all the products I tried, okay? I really do. Anyway, that's it from me today. Let me know down below what you think, especially about this eye look. I really love this eye look. Honestly, it's so glittery and I love it. It's almost like Christmassy. It's almost Christmas, guys. And I say it's almost Christmassy because of the glitter, not necessarily because of the shade, but I like it. Oh my God, I like it. Okay, all right. That's all from me, as I said. Um, let me know down below what you think, as I said. Thanks for watching, fan fam. And as always, whatever it is, love yourself. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, okay? Okay, and I'll see you in my very next video by God's grace. Bye.